producers are always entertaining us. But today we decided we would entertain them. So we're going to have the ladies come out and be part of our audience so they can watch us entertain them. And you too, hopefully. Good <laughs> dancers, be our audience. As you can tell, wildly by my hat, I am a man of the sea. So I'd like to read for you today a tale of the sea. Very, very intense tale. Now sit right back, and you'll hear a tale. The tale of a fateful trip. You see, it started from this tiny port. Aboard a tiny ship. In fact, this tiny ship. The mate was a mighty sailing man, and the skipper, brave and sure. Five passengers set sail this day for a three-hour tour. A three-hour tour. Well, the weather started getting rough. The tiny ship was tossed. If not for the courage of this fearless crew, the minnow would be lost. It's not lost yet. Pick it up. <laughs> you don't want to lose the ship, boys. That's right. The minnow would have been lost. The ship set shore. Set ground on the shore of this uncharted desert isle. This uncharted desert isle. Thank you. <laughs> Wait. No, it's not a desert isle yet. Desert Isle! There you go! Right. Ah. Ah. The ship set ground on the shore of this uncharted Desert Isle with Gilligan and the skipper too. The millionaire! Uh, the millionaire! The millionaire! And his wife! The movie star! Movie star! She's late, she's a diva. The movie star! The professor! The professor! And Mary Ann! Mary Ann! There she is! Mary Ann! Here on Gilligan's Isle. So this is the tale of our castaways. They're here for a long, long time. They'll have to make the best of things. It's an uphill fly. <laughs> the first mate and the skipper too will do their very best to make the others comfortable here in their tropic island nest. There's no phone, no lights, no not a single luxury. Like Robinson Crusoe, it's primitive as can be. Or primitive as you can see. So, Join us here each week, my friends. You're sure to get a smile from seven stranded castaways here on Gilligan.